Hey love bucks, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, much love to you. And to my returning subs, my extended growing family, thank you so much for the kind vibes and the loving vibes you send me each and every day, the stories that you share with me about your personal lives, and just the things that you're going through that you might need assistance with. So with all that being said, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to help you as well. You're helping me, and much love to all. So that being said, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely going to come for you. And if you watch, you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're um, that that you're comfortable enough, and you know you feel like you you want to share, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback or even if it's about, you know, your your experience as an empath or you got a spiritual gift that you would like to share, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or if you know my video just gave you some good understanding, peace into your life, or, you know, just gave you some new meaning that you would like to share go ahead and spread the word give me a thumbs up like and even share it's all greatly appreciated and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and hopefully you'll get something out of my message and today i'm listening to laura chakra's healing meditation music i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka's when the chains cannot hold no longer Yes, when the chains can't hold no longer, you know, we put chains on ourselves because of things that we went through in our past or things we could be going with going through currently or just fears and limitations we press upon ourselves. And it's just like now it's like so many people are going through awakenings. They're going through kundalini symptoms and starting to open their eyes and realize a lot of things about themselves they really did not know. They were just, you know, clueless. We were all clueless because it's just like, you know, with the world, they put so many limitations on us. You know, it's just like I was looking at my granddaughter today and I'm so happy. You know, my, my grandbaby's about to turn uh, a year old. My first granddaughter or my only granddaughter, um, she's getting ready to turn a year on the 4th. I'm so happy. And I got to see her walk for, you know, walk today for the first time. And I was talking to her mom and I was just like... You know, babies have no fear. You know, when we place fear upon ourselves, we, you know, we don't touch stoves because they're too hot. We be, try to be careful with knives because we know they're sharp. But children at that age, you know, they, you know, they can just walk up off of anything, which is pretty scary. But they don't have fear. They, we need to walk around that like, like babies. You know, they look at everything like it's all new and they don't realize the dangers upon things that, you know, that they touch. But yet we know the dangers, but it's just like we need to be childlike, you know, like when children are little, they don't have fears unless you tell them, oh, I, I, nope, don't you do that. Now my granddaughter, she'll turn right around and just start running the other way, you know, but she listens. It's just that, you know, she does what she wants to do when she wants to do it, but she knows that she can't go into certain places. She might get upset, but she'll turn around, but she'll try. But it's just that we need to learn how to walk in our path with confidence. And I, I have to tell myself that every day when we go through things, it's just, you know, it's, you know, when things actually get to us, it's because of the lack of fear. I mean, well, actually fear, lacking of confidence. That's what I meant to say, lacking of confidence and more we're basing our feelings off of fear instead of just actually running along with the fear and facing it and just moving on. But it's just like now with everything going on, you're just like, you know what, and what, you know, I've, I've been going through this, you might get frustrated, but I keep telling myself when I go through stuff, this can't be real, this can't, <laughs> this can't be real, this cannot be real, you know, and I just keep telling myself, this stuff is about to be over, you know, I said, I was telling myself today when I was just outside, just, you know, looking at the sky and seeing what nature can teach me, and I said, I, I guess I must be, keep. I, I must have to keep messing up so I learned my lesson so I have more videos to, <laughs> more videos to go ahead and put out so there will be more people that can relate to them so I'm like hey whatever works whatever works 
but it's just the fact is when I when you go through things so many times you're able to learn you're able to let go of the things that you know that no longer affects you as much as they used to in your life I mean they might get to you but when you know that there's something better in your path that that's going to take this away that's a better feeling because you're putting your energy on something that's positive you're 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 not leaving those chains on you're taking you know you're letting the chains fall off and just like you know I'm not gonna sit up here and be like what's the word I want to use basically confining myself to my fears because I'm scared to venture out to the world and it's just sometimes we get like that because it's unknown we don't know how it's going to, you know, how people are going to, you know, respond to us. We don't know how we're going to do that. But you don't know until you're able to step out there and say, you know what, what the heck, I'll try, you know, and it, it could go right, it could go wrong, but you should still never give up. You know, people don't get it always on the first try. Some people do. You're blessed to able to get be able to get that way. But it's all in the learning process. It's long, all in the learning process. We all got to go through it. But when it feels really good, when you don't have those chains on anymore. So, you know, just when you when you start feeling like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I don't, I don't know where my road is leading me. It's scary. But you know what? I have to be able to get on this roller coaster and enjoy the ride. So I'm hoping that you are able to get something out of my message. You know, I was told that I need to go ahead and make that today. So if you're going through something, know that them chains are finally falling off. You're you're going, you're riding right along with your passion. You're going for your dreams and you will thrive. And I will talk to you later. Send out as much love and light. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if the video moved you in any kind of way. Share. It's all greatly appreciated. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.